Hello eWheel enthusiasts. I got a pretty niche video today where I'll be demonstrating a 3D printer mod I spent an unreasonable amount of time designing that will benefit you if you have an RS19, MSP, or MSX wheel and want an elegant way of seated riding. Well that and a centrally located trolley handle. In fact, it all comes in one package I've called the Seat Handle Adapter Device or SHAD for short. To make it work, you also need access to a 3D printer, a spare bicycle seat, and some very specific rare earth magnets. Like I said, niche. If that doesn't sound like you, but you want to see how this all turned out anyway, great. Keep watching. What you're seeing here is the last prototype before the final design iteration, which I'll get into later. First thing you'll notice is that the shad attaches with velcro to the wheel shell distributing your seat weight over four surfaces in contact with the shell. Demonstrating the trolley handle in action, this design solves the problem that these wheels have where the original trolley handle location makes it harder to control the wheel. This in turn increases the risk of losing control of it entirely and smashing the stock handle against the ground. Ask me how I know. <laughs> anyway, as long as you don't get too crazy with your movements, the trolley action and control is a lot smoother. Removing the handle is easy too. Here I'm showing the magnet retention feature. I only have one installed because I've kind of messed up my own magnet order, but the fit is tight enough that it doesn't seem to make a big difference, so I left it with one. Now let's see what happens when I rock the trolley against the smaller contact patch side. So with this prototype, I left too little contact surface to account for the LED display. This deficiency was improved in the final prototype. Okay, on to the most important feature and the main reason for this mod, seated riding. Here you see the upper and lower seat brackets sporting an the 10 degree saddle nose up option to give a neutral riding position on installation. The bracket is a tight fit and the magnets are extremely strong helping to hold the saddle to the main shad assembly. Lifting the shad vertically doesn't even budge the velcro hold. Now watch this. Pretty impressive magnet hold. I have to brace the wheel to pull the saddle assembly off. Alright, now to demonstrate the important part seated functionality. First of all, it's really easy to sit on. I'm about six feet tall and the height with the padded seat works out really well for me. While this design is made to be universal with most standard seven millimeter bicycle saddle rails, the plush comfort seat is definitely my preference. So as you can see, it's easy to stop and crab around on. Okay, now for the road test. First thing to say is, while the seat is nearly 8 inches wide, it doesn't interfere with standing wheel use. As you can see, it's extremely easy to transition from sitting to standing and vice versa, as well as do a little bit of seated carving as well. No problems leading to accelerate either with this setup. On smooth terrain, it's very easy to get on at a decent clip. Now to properly show the limitations of this prototype. Let's watch this fail. <laughs> Look at that. You can see exactly how I messed up trying to carve the wheel before all of my weight was situated on the saddle and the momentum plucked the saddle assembly out right from under me. This was primarily bad technique, but after this experience I improved the depth of the recessed part by four millimeters in the final design to diminish the chance of this kind of fail. Anyway, no harm, no foul goes right back on. And luckily I wasn't next to traffic for the car to run over. So a couple more rolling shots to show off more angles and ease of use. Besides the design allowing for the use of different bicycle saddles and 0, 5, and 10 degree nose up saddle adjustment, it also allows you some forward aft direction adjustability so you can dial in your ideal seating position on the wheel. Okay. Last thing I want to show off is how the saddle adapter tends to fail in the event of a crash. So this is kind of a dumb crash just going off to the side of the trail like that, but anyway, here's the result. So on the very positive side, the only damage is to the smallest 3D printed part on the assembly, 
which makes it easier to print and carry spares. On the negative side, you have this failure. I've beefed the design of this part a bit in the final iteration and will recommend a solid print, but it could still fail in the event of a crash due to the forces involved. So that's the full disclosure of downsides with the shad design. I would generally not recommend mounting the saddle adapter for aggressive trail use or if you think you're likely to wreck. Okay, that covers the sales pitch. Check out the pinned comment if you're interested in purchasing and printing your own shad. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the ride.